Good morning. Hey, what opinion does God have about the many false prophets and false oracles that always come in and present themselves against God's people? We're reading in Jeremiah 23 today, verses 9 through 14. My heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man and like a man whom wine has overcome because of the Lord and because of his holy words. For the land is full of adulterers, for because of a curse... The land mourns. The pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up. Their course of life is evil, and their might is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yes, in my house I have found their wickedness, says the Lord. Therefore their ways shall be to them like slippery ways. In the darkness they shall be driven on and fall in them, and I will bring disaster on them. The year of their punishment, says the Lord. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied by Baal and caused my people Israel to err. Also, I have seen a horrible thing in the prophets of Jerusalem. They commit adultery. They walk in lies. They also strengthen the hands of evildoers so that no one turns back from his wickedness. All of them are like Sodom to me and her inhabitants like Gomorrah. So it breaks Jeremiah's heart that so many claim to be speaking in God's name. All while they pursue their own private agendas. God has not sent them. But Jeremiah knows the Lord. He knows God's words. And the contrast here, it shocks Jeremiah. It, it even amazes him. How could the people listen to this false prophesying, this kind of false nonsense, and then some of them, and then they take it seriously? How can that be? But many people do. And so spiritual disaster has overtaken this nation on every side. And it's largely a result of these lying, adulterous, fake prophets. Whenever we find false prophets, we always find adulterers and immorality of every kind because they're always serving their own agenda and not God's agenda. We find them doing moral crimes, and then as, as the spiritual leaders do moral crimes, the people seem to take them up, and then the people are all into these moral crimes. And so the, the whole spiritual tone of the nation goes down. And this all fits into this satanic trap that we've seen before in the Bible where Satan's plan is to get the people to be committing such high-handed sin that God refuses to protect them. This is Satan's plan. Why do people fall into it? One of the key things he uses are especially temptations to the flesh, to overindulge, to destroy our health by what we put into our body, to, uh, to destroy our moral compass by doing sexual immorality, and on it goes. Satan knows if he can separate us from God, we're easy prey for him easy pickings. And there's different kinds of false prophets. There's false prophets galore, those who claim to be God's uh, servants, those who are prophets of Baal here, who are openly, you know, from another God. And there's every kind of false teacher out there. So there's a wide range of falseness to choose from. There's a whole menu. It's false prophet buffet time at the end of time. And you and I are going down the line. I hope we don't pick any of their stuff. But our text tells us, God will bring disaster upon them. He's going to judge them. They have profaned all the land, and God's going to sweep them away. Great is his anger against the false prophets, and in the day of judgment, you and I will be glad we're not in their shoes. Again, we measure everything by the Bible. Let's keep at it, and we'll be safe from these false prophets. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. Uh, we want to be in the book. Please, Lord, help us to be able to compare the stories that were told with by people with the stories that are in the book. Thank you, Lord, for the Bible. You can show us how to test between true and false. We love you for it. We want to be right. Draw us close to Jesus' heart. Help us to be true, Lord, in a time when error is coming in at us at every side. We love you and we want to be right. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord. We know you'll answer by helping us to walk more close with Jesus. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So God holds the false prophets in contempt, but we'll be safe if we go by the true prophets. God be with you today in all that you do.